Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to create curve on deforming geometry in Houdini. Okay, so let's move into Houdini. Okay, so over here I create one closed simulation. So that will give us a very good deformed geometry. Okay, you can use any of that kind of geometry and over here I just cache that particular simulation and I call it over here. Okay, so now our next step. So now what we need to do? We need to freeze our frame like through time shift. Okay and on whatever the frame on which you want to draw your curve, first of all set that particular stuff. For example over here I am going to draw on my frame number 6. So first of all, I remove the animation from here. So for that, I press Ctrl Shift and click over here. And now it just frees my six number frame. Now next step that you have to draw your curve. So here I'm going to use draw curve operator. And in which I just go to projection and in projection, I just set it to geometry. So now I can draw on my geometry. I need to click on this particular tool and now I just draw some curves over here onto that particular geometry. Okay now as I draw this particular stuff hands free so I just resample those stuff. So I just apply one resample operator. I just reduce the length maybe like uh, 0.6 Okay, as well as over here, I just set it to interpolating curve. Now next step, I am going to create one more resample to give uh, this particular curve a little bit more on detail. So 0 0.05 and over here, I again set it to interpolating curve. Okay, so now I get little smoother curve and something like this. Okay, so now I need two attribute on this particular curve. Okay, and that is prim number attribute and prim uvw attribute. Okay, and for that reason, I am going to use one ray operator. Okay, I will explain you that why those attributes are important in this particular process. So, I just apply this curve over here. My freeze frame should be over here. And over here, you need to set method to be minimum distance. And it provides you this option that primitive number attribute and primitive UEW attribute. Okay, so I just click onto that particular thing. So now it carried these two attributes hit primitive and hit primitive UV. Now, what you need to do is that you just need to create one more operator that is our key operator that is attribute interpolate. Okay, and now I just apply this particular stuff over here, which carry those attribute and my deforming geometry as my second input. And over here, in this element number attribute and UW, you have to write down the specific name like heat primitive and heat primitive UE. Okay, and now if you check this thing, even I prefer to use this particular node to be a template mode. And now if you play this thing, so you will get this particular thing. Okay, so my curve deforming according to my geometry. So now how this particular attribute interpolate work and specifically that uh, how that particular attribute helped me to interpolate this kind of stuff. Okay, and for that reason, I am going to show you one presentation. Okay, so attribute interpolate. Now, see, assumption that you have some points. Okay, so likewise, over here we use curve. So, curve has multiple points. So, right now, I am considered 
those points that lie on our geometry. Okay, so now these particular things uh, we focus in on a very specific area like over here. So now when you apply that particular stuff that uh, primitive number attribute and primitive UEW attribute, so what happened? Okay, so first of all, for example, we have this point ID is 12 and the point lie on that particular primitive has ID 67. So first of all, this particular point store that okay, my primitive attribute is 67. So it indicate that this particular point lie on this particular primitive. Now next thing, like we consider this particular area as one UV set. So UV that means you have one by one unit square or rectangle area. Okay, so now it basically identify the location of this particular point onto this coordinate system. Okay, so likewise in our example for this thing, we have u is 0.41 and v is 0.43 and definitely w is 0. Okay, so now based on that particular thing, whenever you deform your ge geometry, that attribute interpolate always maintain the location and primitive number as it is. Okay, so likewise over here. So now see, this is my point number, this is my source primitive, that is your primitive number attribute and this is your UV on that particular primitive for this particular point. Okay, so how this particular attribute interpolate work. So hope you like this tutorial. See you soon with another tutorial. Thank you.